<laughs> New at two, Jeff from BK, in from Megan Wright, DJ, and up is yes. in the building, and a legend, I would say, in yes. hip hop, is here too. So you got some heat, you got some new joints. Yes, What's happening, yes, man? Yes, man. Um, just dropped that side last week. It's going crazy with uh, Kanye West, and mm. you know I'm working on my new. Well, I'm about to put out my new album. I'm not working anymore. <laughs> uh, I'm about to put out my new album, No Dope on Sundays. That's what's up. Two weeks pre-orders go up on the tenth. Come on, Let's Jay, ask him yeah, a question so real quick. Like, I mean, there's just so much because you've worked with everyone, obviously from Good Music, Kanye, mm. all of them, and 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 Akon. So how did that road kind of lead you from the beginnings of your, of your time in Georgia back mm -hmm. then to like now, actually where you are in the music industry? Well, it's crazy because, you know, um, I've always been a, an orthodox artist coming from Atlanta. Um, mm -hmm. You know, most of the artists do m more trap music. Me, mm -hmm. I'm kind of uh, the rapper's rapper, I'm right. more alternative hip hop. So, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like I paved the way for a lot of the new guys that is from Atlanta that's rapping, rapping, mm -hmm. you know, to have that platform. But, you know, just being in the streets, man, being with some real street dudes and trying to kind of do more music than they want to do. <laughs> so yeah. I, I just try to venture out and I end up running into uh, Boo and Akon and, you know what I'm saying, they gave me an opportunity to, to like, you know, get my feet wet in the industry Ooh. and really do mm -hmm. what I want to do absolutely you know what i'm saying but you know at the same time i i never got a chance to get a street buzz like i wanted to because i was such i felt like i was such a prolific artist and, and rapper and vice versa from the labels right. so in that situation it didn't kind of go through because they wanted me to make more of what my city music was mm -hmm. and i'm more like you know hip-hop you doing again. you you doing yeah, you exactly like you know i ventured out man we we kind of butted heads so i ventured out and just did more hip-hop stuff with guys like Yellow Wolf um, back then, and then mm -hmm. I did some of my own mixtapes, and then that's how Kanye kind of stumbled across a couple songs, and then was mm. like, yo. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had on his tongue, like, this guy is crazy. He's one of the best rappers. So I ended up flying out to Hawaii, and that's kind of how our friendship and, you know, stuff started. But I was still in the middle of Def Jam and different, you know, regimes coming in, coming out, but people wanted to keep me, they want to leave, let me go, because they uh -huh. like, you're talented, but it's, and I'm like, ah. So I finally got out of all of that in a nutshell, and um, I went to Sony and did a, a, a deal with Dean Shadow and Sony, and Congratulations. here we are today. Definitely, definitely. All right, so why don't you introduce your new, brand new record right now to the whole entire world. Oh, yeah, I know what it is, man. It's your boy, Saha the Prince. It's that side featuring my partner, Kanye West. Y'all know what's going on. Hey. You know, a lot of artists are coming out of Atlanta now, mm -hmm. but it's they're not getting the, I guess the, the props they should. Mm -hmm. I, do you feel like the 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 way music is now, it it, it's kind of gravitating towards that more chill vibe, good mm -hmm. times, drug music. Some people would say lean music versus like actual having bars to make it out here in this industry. I mean, you know, it's, it's a it's the world of entrepreneurship. So <laughs> it's like we all moving around. <laughs> Riding around listening to music, so whatever keeps you going. A lot of times, people like uplifting or upbeat, mm -hmm. upbeat music. But you know, uh, you know, the real hip hop and real music always stand the test of time. Always, you, mm -hmm. you always got your Kendricks, your Coles, and you know other artists that like. Even I've seen shows of Wu Tang and KRS One. Yes. They still packing, they still rocking, because mm -hmm. that's it, it. Always cuts through. So it's always time for chill, and it's always time to you know turn up too. So it, you know, both of them is good. And as a writer yourself, mm -hmm. I mean, are, are you working with anyone right now? Are working on any features? Or working on any albums that um, you can give us a little bit of something? Well, I'm I'm about to go work on some other stuff, but I, they are on the wraps right now. But um, ah. I've been mostly focusing on mine. You know, I've always been working with everybody else for the as past you five should, years. No. So as you as should, you should. I kind of want to get my year and a half to myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so add to it. Introduce your next record, man. Oh, it's, you know what it is, man. It's me and Schoolboy, man. That's just my partner. Damn, you know what I mean? Schoolboy too. Yeah, this was just, you know, my album is a, is a story, so it has different characters, and these are the characters that my people are playing. So Amazing. this is moving around. Saha the Prince. Hey! Hot 97.